All right, Ron. Well, enough looking back on week one, moving along to week two. Most teams looking to rebound, and obviously all teams probably looking to get better after week one. We have a lot of notable matchups coming up, so let's talk about a few of them. First up, we have the two winners. We have UCF and East Carolina. They have two big road tests coming up this week. What do you see? Well, first of all, for East Carolina and South Carolina, it's a tough game. Last year, East Carolina had South Carolina down a lot. They ended up turning the ball over four times. They can't have any turnovers in this football game, and they also have to try to slow down that running game of, of South Carolina. That is going to be tough. A lot of pressure on the front four, but I think last week's game gave East Carolina some confidence. Then you look at Central Florida. Now, they're going to be without Latavius Murray. They're running back. That's going to be hard because they've got to play at Ohio State. Right. I mean, just the atmosphere, and so many teams go into that place, go into Columbus, and you've got to get over the shock of how big the place is and the, the, the crowd and all that. So they've got their hands full. But then you've got a couple of games that I, I kind of really interest me. First of all, obviously Louisiana Tech and right. Houston. Sonny Dykes at Louisiana Tech, future Conference USA uh, team coming into the league in a year. They've got to go to Houston. Sonny's going to be throwing the ball all over the place. Yep. Can Houston's defense stop that? And can Pylon uh, get a little bit mm -hmm. better? But then there's a couple of winnable games I think that Conference USA has a chance to take from AQ schools. Obviously have Rice at Kansas, winnable game. UTEP and Ole Miss. UTEP's got to get a little more offense, obviously, right. but both are both winnable games, right. I think. Well, still to come on the CUSA Showcase, one Tulsa volleyball player already repeating as the player of the week. But first, let's take a look at a busy week two in CUSA football. <laughs> 